Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Animated Stories. Animated Stories comes out every Wednesday. You can catch it live at UCB East in New York City. Um, when I was 16 years old, I went through what I like to call the Lindsay Lohan phase of my career, where I was drinking a lot and doing a lot of drugs, and I was very depressed and sad. And one day I woke up and I said to myself, you know what, Chris, you don't have to be depressed and sad all the time. You can just be gay. And I was. And as the saying goes, it got better. And... Part of this newfound me was I started hanging out with this new group of guys. They were all very smart and very attractive. And they all played soccer, which this, you know, duh. And so there was this one catch. They all went to this same youth group together called Young Life. And Young Life was not any more cultier than like any other youth group, but they played like guitar songs and, and had pie eating contests as opposed to my youth group, Goya, the Greek Orthodox Youth of America, where we watch documentaries about the effect of the Byzantine Empire on the modern day church. I liked pie. So I was going out and I was hanging out with these guys and uh, one night in December, we were hanging out in a Sonic parking lot and they're like, oh my God, we're gonna go reindeer mounting. And I'm like, reindeer mounting, what's that? And they're like, it's this thing where we drive around and um, we take the light up reindeer in people's yards and we mount them into sexual positions on top of each other. So we like jumped in our cars and we headed out to St. Charles, which is this, uh, this is suburban area in Little Rock, and we started mounting reindeer. And then we saw it. We saw, it was like the mecca of tacky Christmas decorations. They were, they had like a whole reindeer and a Santa Claus and polar bears and elves and they had these like weird tarps on the, on the ground that I didn't quite understand. And so we jump out of our cars and there's like eight of us and we're all mounting these reindeer and elves and, these, and, and, and Santa just everywhere. And I'm by the door and I'm putting these, these, these reindeer right in front of these people's doors. And I'm turning around to leave and I see it. I see this glowing red button and I know I have to hit it. And I hit it, and that house lit up like the fucking 4th of July. And all of a sudden, it was like a Christmas special in Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> and the elves and the polar bears and Santa are just having this massive orgy in the middle of this people's house, like their front lawn. And we start running, and as I'm running, I hear, it was like a like a, an action scene where like mines are exploding, but instead of mines, it was these giant inflatable uh, snow globes that were coming to, it was like a winter wonderland, just like exploding. I was like running through Narnia. I just, <laughs> I was like, this is the gayest thing ever. I'm loving it. <laughs> So I, I jump back in my car and I and, and we and we go home and I take Eric home and uh, he got locked out of his house and he said, why don't we spend the night in the back of your car? And I said, okay. And we did. And nothing happened because he's straight and my life's not a movie. But that's when I realized boys suck. Thank you so much. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you like this. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday.